Hello, it's us again, the Laura and John Show. <laughs> uh, today it's the 24th of January, 2007. It's the day before Laura's birthday. She's 42. <laughs> uh, and and some months. Uh, we've had a very we've had a very interesting day. We've uh, had a, a really good day uh, in light of the fact that the project we're doing. We've met some very amenable shopkeepers, haven't we, Laura? Yeah. So we've heard some very interesting tales, and we've learned quite a few things about the history of Bold Street. Um, the cafe, yeah. Laura. Uh, the cafe, yeah, was uh, the man cafe is called is Cafe Fifty Three. The man is called what's his name? Dave. Dave, yeah, he's called Dave. He's been there for forty odd years in that same cafe. He was inspired to open a cafe by the Cardoma. Was that what it was called? The Cardoma Cafe, the well Cardoma known, chain. well known over the years. Exactly, one of a chain, a very, 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 very popular cafe in Liverpool's history. But it was, yeah. And he was in there one day with a friend and said to him, "Let's open a coffee shop." They opened a coffee shop at Number Fifty Three Build Street, which was previously a fair, well, fair and fine ladies' clothing manufacturing shop called Mayo Carroll. It's now called Cafe 53. It's got quite an 80s facade, but quite nice with neon signs in the window. Um, he sells now food and coffee, but originally it was just coffee. He's built an extension on it at the back and was telling us that originally it was a house, a merchant's house, and in the back garden there was a chute to throw meat and an old sandstone... An old, uh, exactly, a, a sandstone basin. Uh, it gave us a name because it's where they used to wash the meat off. And yeah, then I can't remember the name of drain, it. Actually. It drained the blood away. They drained the blood out of the meat on this particular sandstone sink. Um, now it's a, it's a cafe with a staff of about four women who've been there for an 40 average, years apiece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An average of 40 years apiece. Exactly, piece. yeah. Um, yesterday we had a very interesting day. We um, uncovered some interesting facts about a photography studio on Build Street, which is where Forbidden Planet is now, um, run by a man called Barard, who is famous for creating his master's voice, the dog listening to the gramophone. Exactly. Uh, and then we went in F.A. Welsh today, the jewellers, didn't we, John? Yes, uh, another interesting shop. Um, both these people, Dave and uh, the, the Stuart and, and the jewellers, are very, very amiable, very affable, and very outgoing, and it was a pleasure to talk to them. And we learned some very interesting facts. And one of the things that's coming across is almost without fail, every shop in Ball Street has its own ghost. Yeah. Could you tell us about the one in the uh, jewellers, Laura? Well, the one in the jewellers apparently locks doors from the inside, turns lights on and off runs up and down upstairs, makes general noise and mischief, and they are all 100% that it's a ghost. So that could be another paranormal entity that we've uncovered exclusively in the Bell Street Project. Yes, and uh, one word about uh, the cafe, uh, Dave's cafe. Uh, the cafe and the man go together. He was a very nice, very nice person to talk to, a nice yeah. chap. And the cafe itself has a, has a character and, and a feeling which is uh, amenable to enjoying a meal and a cup of coffee yeah. and it has approached the more modern premises. And it, it, it's, it has been a thoroughly enjoyable day up to yeah. now and we're hoping there's more ahead. We are. Both think that the Paradise pro Project won't affect Bell Street because it's so individual and so unique. So let's hope they're right. Well, my personal opinion is uh, I'd actually take bets on a, with a bookmaker. I can't see... Any project, no matter how modern, challenging Bold Street as a shopping area. It's it's steeped in history, it's known, and I think it will go down very well with the uh, with tourists in, in the 2008 years, 2008 celebrations. I think it will more than hold its own with Paradise Street. Me too. Okay, well, let's hope we have a good right. next couple of days. Exactly. Including my 21st birthday. Exactly. We w we're wishing to meet. <laughs> we want to meet ghosts after ghosts after ghosts, and hopefully one day face to face. Yeah, we can do an interview with a ghost, say. Eh? Right, we'll see you next time. Okay. Thanks for having us.